heat races in your quality truck tire and auto service modifieds. On the pole, coming all the way from Norwalk, that is the 8R, a Chase Rudolph into the outside, the man who's won the last two weeks in a row. Can he go three for three and get a $1,000 payday tonight? The 92 of Jeff Stevens. From Omaha, Nebraska, in the third starting position, in the number six car, Ryan Jenkins. And from right here in Denison, Shane DeMay in the 15M on the outside of row number two. Alex reaches in the one AR to the inside of row three with the 70 of Jesse Dennis, who is outside. The Mabel the Farm Boy, Jim Teese, your defending track champ, running shotgun on the field. And we are green right now as uh, they are going to go piling through there. It is going to be Rudolph the early advantage. Jenkins in second. Demay now to the inside of Stevens as they are side by side. Jesse Dennis is going to go up into that fifth place spot. Of course, Jesse Dennis, he is a multi-time track champion at places such as the I-80 Speedway and the Adams County Speedway down in Corning. Give Jeff Stevens credit. He tried the outside, and now we'll go to the inside trying to climb back up through the field. He gets Teese down the back straight away. Leading the way is Rudolph as Stevens tries to climb his way back through the field. That ain't no red-nosed reindeer out there, folks. That is just a bad, fast hot rod. Chase Rudolph, he is a threat every time he unloads that 8R, no matter where it is, and he is showing that tonight. Ryan Jenkins, guy who almost picked up a a track championship here a couple years ago. And, of course, Shane DeMay, who is uh, not only a former track champ, but current points leader. They are leading the way with five to go. Top three still decently close to each other on the racetrack, but kind of strung out at the same time. One to two car lengths in between each of them. And then it's almost half a straightaway back to fourth position. You could throw a blanket over him in the corners, though, and that's what we like to see. As they sling it into one and two once again, it is Rudolph, Jenkins, DeMay, Dennis, and Reitz, your top five. Battle is on right now with the Mabel the Farm Boy, Jim Teese, and with the 92 of Jeff Stevens, but it is still Chase Rudolph being chased by the six of Ryan Jenkins. Rudolph slips up a little bit in one and two that time. Can the Nebraska native get underneath him? Not quite that time down the back chute. They'll take another look at him. Will Rudolph, or at Rudolph, does Jenkins, I should say, but Rudolph holds him off again. As we're going to have two laps to go. Once again, Rudolph holding off as he almost cuts the nose off the six of Jenkins. He is, in fact, going to uh, break that momentum, Jenkins. That's going to put Jenkins back in the clutches of the 15M of Shane DeMay as uh, White Flag going to come out for Chase Rudolph. Final lap around the Carver County Speedway for this heat race. Rudolph back out front by a couple car lengths. Shane DeBay went from the best seat in the house for the battle for the lead to trying for that runner-up spot. But right now it is Jenkins in second, DeMay in third, and the podium comes off a three and four for the final time. Chase Rudolph gets a heat race win. Chase Rudolph coming for Nor- Nor- Norwalk will win. As you have the six, Ryan Jenkins in second. Shane DeMay will be third. Jesse Dennis will be fourth. And the Mabel the Farm Boy, Jim Teese, will round out that top five. In the third starting position, Chris Abelson from Sioux City in the 1X. And scheduled to roll off fourth, top side of row number two. In the triple seven, Cody Olson from Omaha, Nebraska. Of course, Chris Abelson, former uh, multi-time track champion here. The man they call Sioux City Excitement. 1R, Craig Reitz and the double OK of Trey Klein will round out heat race number two in row number three. So we got a candy man, Mr. Consistency, two former track champions, a jackpot man with a triple seven, and Trey Klein. Don't throw me with a good time. Throw the green. <laughs> and it's going to be the candy man, Jeff Wiggins. And that's Southern Iowa vending number 36T as he is going to lead him down into one and two. Mr. Consistency, Ryan Top, unfortunately, big push in that car. That's going to push him up. He's going to lose several spots. <clears throat> Sioux City Excitement, Mr. or All Action, Chris Abelson. Now up to that second place spot is uh, the one R Craig Reitz in third. Candy man to the bottom in one and two this time. He slips up just a little bit. Here comes Sioux City Excitement down to the inside. 
NHRA down the back straightaway at the Crawford County Speedway into three and four. It is Abelson who takes over the position as Wiggins will not give up that easily. Abelson now with the lead, but he is, but I'll tell you what, Wiggins not letting him get away as he is going to the whip, whipping that Skittles machine like a rented government plow mule. That ain't no Kurt or Kyle Bush in there. Much more respected is Jeff Wiggins. But right now, he is going to whip, trying to keep up with the 1R of Abelson. Craig Reitz in third, Cody Olson fourth, and the double OK Trey Klein in fifth. Abelson continues to show the way as they all want to get to the bottom of the Crawford County Speedway at both ends. They drift up down the straightaways. And right now, everybody running a very similar line. Abelson continues to show the way. Track a little bit of a one-lane wonder right now. We'll see if we can do something about that during intermission. But it is, again, Sioux City excitement. Chris Abelson, he has uh, left the key on the counter and has checked out Jeff Wiggins, an island unto himself right now, as Craig Reitz going to the whip trying to catch up to him. But uh, not going to have enough time as we only have three laps to go. A little bit of a battle possibly developing for the number four position on the field as the triple seven gets up a little bit off the bottom and the double zero K of Trey Klein goes after him. But they string out down the back straightaway. And as we come to two to go, it's still Abelson showing the way. Two laps to go as Abelson is going to once again power down into one and two. He's going to fire it off down the back stretch. Fields pretty much spread out as Abelson's going to come through a little bit of a bobble, but he able to recover. White flag is out for Chris Abelson. One lap to go. At the flag stand, he has half a straightaway lead. Goes to the inside of one and two for the final time. Down the back straightaway, Abelson. This time past the Crawford County Speedway. Words on the back straightaway wall. Into three and four for the final time. Max Abelson, Chris Abelson. Sioux City Excitement gets the heat race victory. Chris Abelson's going to win. The Candyman, Jeff Wiggins in second. Third's going to go to the 1R of Craig Reitz. Fourth to the triple seven of Cody Olson. And the double OK of Trey Klein will round out your top five. The double zero K of Trey Klein. Ladies and gentlemen, as they come out of turn number four, this is your parade and wave. Get up and on your feet as it's a feature time for your quality truck, tire, and auto service modified. Row number three to the inside. That's going to be the triple seven of Cody Olson to the outside. The 8R from Norwalk, Chase Rudolph. Scheduled to roll off in the seventh position on the inside of row number four. The 1X of Chris Abelson. And on the outside of row four, the number 70 of Jesse Dennis. Your defending track champ, the Maple to Farm Boy, Jim Teeson, the 23 to the inside of row number five. To the outside, the 1R of Craig Reitz. Inside row number five. And the number 23 Jim T. Oh, you just read that one, didn't you? Yep. Row My six. bad. Inside of row number six, Alex Reitz from Dunlap in the 1AR is scheduled to roll off. Ryan Top, Mr. Consistency on the outside. And, and Jeff Stevens the man brings up won, the rear. The man that's won the last two weeks in a row, Jeff Stevens. Can he come from the outhouse to the penthouse? We will see. $1,000 on the line and a spot on the Fast Shafts All Star voting ballot are up for grabs as the green is out, and it is going to be the 15M. Shane DeMay off to a huge advantage as uh, looks like the one AR Alex Reitz with troubles up there in turn one as he is going to bring out the caution. So we're going to re-rack, repack, and restack for complete restart as we had absolutely zero laps in the books. And uh, Carr just really wasn't set up, uh, or missed the setup. Car didn't move forward very well. Um, and then uh, now he is leading from the pole tonight. So we'll see if he can get that $1,000 payday and get his name on the Fast Chefs All-Star Invitational Voting Ballot. Matt Stubbe drops the green. We are back to racing. They're going to fire him off down the front stretch into one and two. And it again is going to be DeMay. Battle is on for second and third between Wiggins and the six of Jenkins. Here comes double OK of Trey Klein as well. It is Jenkins, Klein, and the Candyman. Two, three, and four. But here comes Olsen and Sioux City Excitement, Chris Abelson. 
DeMay already opening it up on the field. Down the back straightaway they go, stringing it out through the top six. Look at Teese making a charge. Jim Teese starting in ninth position, starting to work his way up as he has uh, Jesse Dennis right there on his back bumper. It is DeMay left the key on the table and has checked out. Jenkins now checks out from the double OK of Klein. Then it is Wiggins and Abelson all right there in your top five. Pretty much everybody on the bottom right now. DeMay down the back straightaway has stretched it out to half a straightaway. Jenkins in second. Klein still being challenged by the Candyman for third. And now a big run into the corner from Abelson as he tries to improve his position. Oh, Ryan Top goes around in turn number four. Is he going to be able to get it refired or nope? Caution is out. So Ryan Top with issues. But I'll tell you what, Jim T starting to work his way forward, as is Jeff Stevens. As uh, Stevens started dead last, he's working his way forward. Whereas Klein would like to see it go 12 miles north of Sluswig, Jenkins wants to take it to Omaha. You've got Abelson saying, nope, I need to take that cash up to Sioux City. And Wiggins just wants to buy Skittles. <laughs> Back to green. As they head down the front stretch and down in turn one, it is DeMay once again leading him down into one and two. Again, with a, a little bit of an advantage over Jenkins. But coming out of two, that Harris Auto Racing 15M chassis just absolutely screams out of two and four as he starts pulling an advantage over the six of Jenkins. Klein still in third. The Candyman going after him. Drifts up the racetrack there. And Jesse Dennis into the top five looking for the top four. And he will get there on the inside. Look at the number 70 car making a charge. Jesse Dennis a deadly threat every time he unloads that number 70 car. He is proving why. Started eighth, currently fourth, working on the double OK of Trey Klein for third. We still have 19 laps to go. Could he possibly get up there and make it a battle between him and DeMay for the lead? Right now, DeMay comfortably out front, trying to stretch the lead to a full half straightaway as Klein is all the way back in third. Dennis in fourth, wants more to the inside. The 70 car it may be the fastest race car on the track right now as he is on to the podium. Abelson tried to pull the same move on Klein as Jesse Dennis did. Not quite able to do it. Dennis now starting to gap that battle for fourth and fifth. As here comes Sioux City excitement, Chris Abelson. All action, Chris Abelson. Chris Abelson moved up to fourth now as uh, he is trying to stay in the tire tracks of Jesse Dennis. Abelson and Dennis both have found something similar as they drift up just slightly to get a little bit more traction off of the corner, but it's still Shane DeMay showing the way out front. Ten laps down, 15 to go. Chase Rudolph unfortunately called no joy in the 8R. He has pulled a pit side. He is done for the evening. Right now it is still DeMay leading. Jenkins in second, followed by Jesse Dennis. And now look at this. Abelson right on the back bumper of Dennis. We have a battle going for three and four. Klein now in fifth. Fast battle on the racetrack. Comes off of turn number four. Goes by the flag. Sten, Dennis, and Abelson. Two City Excitement going after him through one and two. Fades back a little bit as Dennis gaps him down the back. Straight away, Shane DeMay continues to show the way. DeMay absolutely refusing to lose that $1,000 as uh, with 13 to go, he has about a half a straightaway lead over the six of Ryan Jenkins. He's going to sling it down through three and four. That Harris chassis just absolutely digging like Dale tonight as uh, now 12 laps to go for DeMay. If we stay green, we may encounter lap traffic before the end of this deal. And one of the first 
cars that will be overtaken other than top will be the Candyman who has faded fast from a top five position. Yeah, we just uh, the first half of the feature, something amiss on that 36 Tia Wiggins as he has fallen from uh, his outside front row starting spot all the way back to uh, now getting passed for last by the T4 Ryan Top. All this happening on the same straightaway as your leader, Demay. Abelson gets to the inside of Dennis off of three and four this time. And to the third position goes Sioux City Excitement with 10 to go. We are almost to lap traffic this next lap. Shane DeMay will catch it. Nine to go. Shane DeMay chasing the rainbow right now. That is uh, the Candyman Jeff Wiggins as he is going to get or get up to there and then put him a lap down and then try to go hide in the lap traffic from uh, Ryan Jenkins, who is sitting in second. They're going to come down to eight laps to go this time by. Still to May by a lot. Craig Reitz in the top five, gets by Teese, and up to the back bumper of the Candyman is DeMay. He will try to get to the inside of the 36T. He will be successful. Top is right there, and DeMay will get by the first slower car. Heavy lap traffic in front of him, but the question is, can Jenkins do anything about it? It is still DeMay working on Ryan Top, trying to get by him. DeMay, Jenkins, Abelson, Dennis. And it's a ways back to fifth place. That is Trey Klein. DeMay able to get through lap traffic in the way of uh, the 36 or 36T and the uh, T4. And now has clear ceiling until he gets up to the 92 of Jeff Stevens. Triple seven of Cody Olsen pulled into the pit area while that was going on as DeMay will encounter Stevens as the next lap car. Jenkins still yet to enter lap traffic as he tries to get underneath the 36. Just five more circuits around the Crawford County Speedway. DeMay now gets up and underneath the 92 of Jeff Stevens. Car definitely not as on as it was the last two weeks. He is going to get by Stevens with no problem. And he's going to fly under the flag stand. Four laps to go. A little bit of bumping and banging for the fourth spot as Craig Reitz takes it over from Trey Klein down the back straightaway. That'll be the fifth spot correction on the racetrack as it's Dennis in fourth, Abelson in third, and working your reverse order. In the runner-up spot is Jenkins and obviously Shane DeMay showing the way from the green. Three laps to go, and he is about to catch up to your defending track champ who is sitting third in points right now, the Mabel Farm boy, Jim Teese. Tease right in, sitting in sixth, Klein sitting in fifth. So DeMay working his way through the field and lapping a bunch of cars. And oh, problems with the 92, Jeff Stevens. Stevens off of the pace. He's going to pull it down to the inside. Is the caution going to come out? As Reed's now going to get by him. Right now it's Shane DeMay with two laps to go. Correction, white flag, one lap to go for DeMay. Shane DeMay, the hometown boy, goes through one and two. A reputation far beyond the Crawford County Speedway, but he's at home tonight, and he's into three and four for the final time. Shane DeMay picks up the victory at Crawford County Speedway. DeMay picks up $1,000 and will be on the Fast Shafts All-Star Invitational Ballot. Ryan Jenkins in second. Craig Reitz in, th- I'm sorry, Chris Abelson in third. Jesse Dennis will be fourth. And rounding out that top five, that is going to be the 1R of Craig Reitz. So once again, $1,000 in his pocket and a spot on the voting ballot for the Fast Shafts All Star Invitational. During the Friday night portion of the 39th annual Speedway Motors IMCA Super Nationals fueled by Casey's. I'm trying to get in practice now, so I'm good with that for September. I just roll off the tongue automatically. 